Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Untouchable Wolf, and if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe for more Baldur's Gate 3 how-to videos and live streams. And thank you so much for your support. It truly does mean a lot. Today, I'm talking about how to use the Orphic Hammer. So you get this at the House of Hope, and you can see right here, it is a legendary weapon. Now, what makes this weapon so very unique is not that um, it does, um, you know, great, amazing damage it does okay damage you see right here 8 to 17 damage with my barbarian level 11 but it is um you want to use the unshackling strike action to save or free hope as well as free orpheus if you do choose um to do so so i was able to um free hope at the house of hope if you have any questions on how to actually um attain the hammer if you have any problems let me know in the comment section down below and i will um uh, help you out and you can just let me know your thoughts overall when it comes to butters gate 3 if you're still playing and i'm uh, having so much fun with it this video is for our beginners as well as um per players who might need additional tip so let me go back to the weapon now, like I said, it does have the unshackling strike, which um, you use to free hope as well as Orpheus. So it is not like a um, type of action where it does damage. Now, I am a barbarian, so um, I'm going to have some... Um, I'm going to show you some attacks that I like to use. Um, so you see right here, it's a Warhammer Versatile. So let me show you. Excuse me. Now we got the classic Reckless Attack. That I love to use as a barbarian. Now make sure to check out my live streams because I will be a live streaming very, very soon. You see, I'm in Act Three. The basic, you can see, is a little heavier attack because of the Warhammer. Down there, 2.7 weight. Let me go compare that to. This is my go-to weapon. I just love using the Soul Breaker Great Sword. Okay. That same weight. But you see when we use this, it's gonna be a little bit faster movement here. A little nice and swift. Longer longer reach as well. Alright, let's go back to the weapon. You let me know what your favorite weapon is to use as well. This is a live gameplay, live commentary. So, all right. Now the weapon does look really, really, really nice. Um, so you saw the reckless attack. Now let's go to just the basic, just basic attack. If you're not using a reckless attack. Same type of heavy movement, a little bit different. And then we got the unshackling strike, just so you can see what it looks like. You can't really target um, anything, but you can target them yourself, actually, just so you can see how it would look when you're trying to free Hope or Orpheus. How are you doing? And of course, he would miss like on himself. Like, <laughs> really, my guy, man? Really? Hey. What are you doing, man? Like, did you really miss that? It's hilarious. There it goes right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. So I'm gonna show you some gameplay of the weapon in action. Me using some good reckless attacks, some basic attacks with this weapon. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So let's go and let's do this. And remember to have fun. Let's go. So I'm gonna attack these guards right here. I wouldn't do this, but you know, it's a live gameplay, live come to We're gonna have a good time. So you guys can see the weapon in action. He did not like that attitude, but we're going to still attack. Let's go. Can miss battle. Well, there's a, you know, little bit of attack there. Critical hit right there was really nice. Gonna go back and show you what happens if you do try to use the unshackling strike. He's like, ah, I feel real nice and refresh, untouchable wolf. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
and it looks like he is frozen for the count. There's blood in here. Go ahead and have some fun with my other players. Of course, of course you want to miss. Everybody wants to miss in my live gameplay. Everybody wants to miss. Come on, girl. All right. She did a little bit of damage on him. I'm going to go and use this attack here. Man, is saving attacks really nicely sometimes. You do that to Zill just awesome, just has these really nice OP attacks. Do it again, man. He definitely is really OP. We are going to work. Looks like he is something. What is going on to him? Watch out guys, he's about to, he's about to detonate. Make way. To focus. Everybody get out the way. Come on, Shadow Heart. Now, she's mobile, so I'm just going to skip it. These guys are like, man. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section down below. Crazy right there with that. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do some healing. Everybody's pretty good except for her. It's like, what is going on over there? Victory awaits. We're gonna go back to Lazelle again. Getting some good XP actually from this. And my boy is like untouchable wolf. Why are you kneeling like that, man? <laughs> and he got destroyed right there. Alright, so it's back to my turn. Let's go ahead and do a reckless attack. You can see right there, it does a little bit of damage. Let's go. And you'll be able to see the great weapon master with this weapon. A little bit of damage. Gonna finish him off. talking about let's go all right everybody let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below when it comes to the orphic hammer 
if you have any questions on how to use it on how to get it i will help you out just let me know in the comment section down below and i'll reply to your comments if you found my video helpful or entertaining please give me a like rate and subscribe for more bottles gate 3 how to videos and live streams and thank you so much for your support it truly does mean a lot thanks for watching and take care and more wolf videos be coming soon later peace Woo!